church. I want to compare these two things. I want to compare your body and the church. So, when Jesus arrived at the certain church, it was in Capernaum, he found people are changing money and selling the things in the church. Then when he wept them and removed them from the temple, he said, my house shall be called the house of prayer. So if you are lacking prayer, you are not the house of God. Jesus said, my house. He could not say, our house as Christian. So the, the church is the house of God. Now, why am I trying to compare uh, the church of God and your body? Is this, the Bible says that, uh, don't you know that your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. Then when he entered the temple, he removed everything that was in the temple. Man of God, if money is in the temple, if a woman of God, you have got money, you have got cash in the bank, and it is making you to fail to kneel down for the Messiah, he's going to remove it. God is there to remove that is jealousy. God has come to remove anything that does not confess the name of God. So don't if, uh, don't cry when you add money from nowhere out of the blue, the money finish. It is God who is permitting so that you may be the true house of God. Why am I saying so? To ask Job. Job had a lot of things, but out of the blue, he lost everything. Jesus wants to see if this church will be faithful. So he realized in the church and removed everything. He said, my house shall be called the house of prayer. You are claiming to be the house of God. Do you pray? Do you pray? When Jesus went, he could not leave it like that. It is still his house. Why am I saying so? He transformed himself into the Holy Spirit. And as he said, don't you know that your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit? So the Holy Spirit does pray. The Holy Spirit does sing. The Holy Spirit uh, does good to people. So you have to realize, man of God,